I'm going to continue this. That's all done. Then we're going to go to Firefox. And Firefox is already up, but I'm going to go to, um, let's see, recently closed tabs, tools, clear recent history. This is going to come up, and basically I like to clear browsing history, forms, cookies, cache, site preferences, and all that stuff. I'm going to go to clear now and I clear all that out. So, you know, as an example, um, with Firefox, Firefox, Safari, even Chrome, you can clear out your cookies and your cache and all that history, um, and that's just going to make those browsers run a lot faster, and it's also going to take a bunch of crap off your computer, uh, which is, you know, exactly why we're doing all this stuff. So we did that. Um, next thing we want to do is we're going to go up to Spotlight here, and we are going to put in a keyword, and that is activity. Okay, we come to our um, activity monitor. Actually, we're just going to go to show all. All right, so all these files under activity monitor, right? This is basically your tracker on your hard drive. It just tracks and documents everywhere you've been, everything you've done, and like all your web searches and all that other stuff, which you don't really need. So all this stuff, all this stuff down through here, anything that says, anything that says cache, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to push shift, click on it, and I'm going to delete that by pulling it down into the garbage. Okay? So I can get rid of all that stuff, which is fantastic. And you go through and you can just kind of scroll through this stuff, but anything that says cache, you don't really need it. Um, I'm going to go back, get out of this. I'm going to go to activity again. And I'm going to go to activity monitor. Oh! Activity monitor. Um, all right. Usually, you guys will be able to open that up, but you can take a look at all your activity and just kind of see if there's a bunch of cash or cookies in there that you can get rid of too. Um, I know exactly why this is doing this, but it takes too long to explain it, so I'm not going to get into it. Press OK. I'm good to go. All right. So we took care of activity log. Um, next thing we're going to do is we're going to spotlight a special keyword, and this is something I discovered. I haven't seen it anywhere else. P A C, which stands for pack, and um, uh, that will take you to usually it takes you to packages let's do this a different way dot p k alright let's just put in packages packages alright show all that's gonna come up over here okay here we go so coming into packages, um, there's going to be all this additional cache here too. Just a bunch of little different things. And um, you can go ahead and you can find all this stuff and you can trash it as well. So like, and like I said, you know, you just don't need, you do not need all this other stuff. Cancer, I don't know what that is, adults, that's uh, all a bunch of garbage. I'm going to go ahead and take this, I'm going to delete all this, get rid of all this stuff. Um, coming down through and actually we are in good shape uh, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to exit out of this also if you have an older Mac and you search PAC okay you're actually going to have a file down here that says packages um, it's an actual application I believe I'll try to look it up real quick just to see if we have it um, I don't think the newer versions do no they do not it would be right here um, but packages is basically like your your uh, installation setups those little brown and yellow boxes that look open that you use to install programs so after you've done that and you've installed your program unless you want to save that installation package you don't need it anymore so you can get rid of that or you can back it up on an external so you'll always have the program that you downloaded from the internet which is really smart um, next thing I want to do is uh, go to iTunes and this is one of the things that's really gonna make um, your computer run a ton better and it's gonna free up probably more space than anything else you're gonna go to controls pardon me you're gonna go to view and you're going to go to show duplicate items under view and iTunes. All right. In my tracks alone, you basically make sure you're on songs, but you look through your music. I have two copies of All Mixed Up, American Idiot, Ass Like That, BBK. All these songs have been duplicated. There are, this is literally probably like 20 gigs worth of stuff or more 
of just duplications of songs. So I've got to go through, and the way to do this, the best way to do it is you just look and see, okay, so album 311, and this one's Greatest Hits. So those are actually two different tracks, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave those alone. But this one, the timestamp might be a little bit different, but it's the same damn song. So I'm going to go like this. I'm going to go delete. It's going to say, are you sure you want to delete this copy of the selected item? And then you can say also delete this item from iCloud if you have an iCloud account. If you do not have an iCloud account, it will ask you if you want to delete it from the hard drive, which is exactly what you want to do. And then it says, do you want to remove the selected item to trash or keep it in iTunes media folder? We're going to say move it to trash. All right, so now, and of course you have to put in your Apple password. There you go. So anyway, now instead of having, um, you know, like three of the same exact track, I've gotten rid of one of them, and now I've got the explicit version, and now I've got the clean version, and then I can just go down. I can do that to every single one of these. That's a duplication. Just get it out of the cloud, and also um, just get it off your hard drive because it's taken up a ton of space. So that's iTunes. Also, um, I want to go ahead and I want to go back to uh, Searchlight and I want to I want to ping Library. All right, so if I click Library, Top Hits, and then so you go to Folders, and I like to go to my library here, and I'm going to look at my cache and like look at all this stuff. This is all cache folders from all these different programs. I'm going to select A, drag this down, Trash, and then I'm going to go to File pardon me, finder, <laughs> and empty trash again. Continue, continue, and just get rid of all that junk in there. So that's another that's another area um, where you can really dump uh, a lot of extra garbage that's on your machine. All right, notice how my machine's getting a little faster. It's like I can nav stuff, the tacking's really quick, move stuff around. It's just slowly but surely, it's gaining speed. Um, next thing I want to do is I'm going to go to... Uh, the iPhoto. Okay, so here's a bunch of pictures, and I've got a ton of photos. Um, you know, photos from just everything and everywhere. My wife's put a bunch of stuff, a bunch of her stuff on here. So, if there, what I really would like to do is all these photos don't really need to be on my computer because I can put them into iCloud now. I can keep them on my phone. I can, you know, put them onto an external disk or drive or something or whatever. So if I go back here and I look at library, which I just typed in, I can go to um, iPhoto library, which is right here. And it breaks it down by date. And you can basically just take a look at this stuff and you just do, take this and you just press. All this stuff is really directory stuff. You don't really need that. But all these... Um, all these folders, and you'll probably have all the way up to like 2013. Mine's in a different area now because I wanted to separate it just for organizational purposes. But hit shift and then left click, and you select all these, and you can drag them over to like a new drive or an external if this was an external, or um, a little flash drive if you got room on your flash drive. And then after that, you can delete, just drag and drop all this stuff right into the trash. Okay? I'm not going to do it because I, I want to sort through those a little bit later. After you've done it, you go up to Finder, go to Empty Trash, continue, continue, and then it deletes all those extra photos, which is going to clear up, again, probably another three or four gigabytes of space. And um, everything that we've done to this point is basically, your computer's like a brain, and at the center of the web is the, th is the mind, and the mind doesn't have to like branch out and find all these little points of reference, like pictures, movies cache, all this stuff. It's like it basically just takes all that stuff out and sets it to the side and says, you know what, I don't need to reference this anymore. So all those little points that connect everything like a spider web are gone, which is really going to speed up your processor. Um, last thing I want to do after I've done all this, I've deleted all the applications that I want to get rid of, all the cache, everything else, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go to System Preferences. I'm going to go to... Um, Oh, wait, no, that's not what I'm going to do. I'm going to go over here, and I'm just going to look up Disk Utility. Disk Utility. So, Disk Utility right here, top hit. I'm going to click on that. It's going to open up my Disk Utility. 
and my computer I can tell is already a lot faster. Um, I'm going to go to you know my main drive and basically it says you know if you're having trouble with a selected disk click repair disk um, if the repair fails back up and erase the disk and um, you know you can use you can do that using your um, new your, your Mac OS installation disk which is like a completely clean install so if you want to back everything up on an external drive on your whole computer and just clean your whole system it'll do all of this stuff that we have talked about today automatically but it's also going to reinstall a lot of the crap that we got rid of so your choice um, but you can go to verify disk and then you click on repair disk and it'll repair it and do whatever it needs to do I'm gonna do this later because it does take a long time if you haven't done it in a while so that's the last thing guys I hope that helps that is every trick that I know of in the book to make your Mac run faster mine boom 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 got expose I've got my toggles everything is running super quick you know I can pull up internet iPhoto close things out in a flash and uh, you know we're all good so lastly this is me right here this is something completely different but you might want to check it out it's my little company I uh, did a patent recently and if you need a board rack for a surfboard or wakeboard or snowboard you know give me a holler